All right, so in this matchup today, we'll be looking at ODM Syphos and his Dark Elves. Oh my goodness gracious, that one was even worse. <laughs> it, it's hopeless, guys. Okay, that's just what it's going to do today. So we got Odium Cyphos with the blurry Dark Elves versus Stanton Cree with the blurry High Elves. And uh, here we go, best of one. I'm gonna work on making my own version of that because I really love that Party Elite made that, but for some reason it just doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Try to hit the back of your head with a blunt weapon, Toto. Usually works when I do it to people. <laughs> Ronin, what are you admitting to? With casual new players, feels more comfortable for returning players and more chillax. I highly recommend folks from there. Yeah, definitely. Noob Hammer, feel free to throw a link to the Discord in there, Toto, as well. It's a great little Discord that's got put together. Acting up, Pepe Hands, yeah. At least you can understand that's a Malekith. <laughs> yeah. I need to uh, figure out how to get that working again, but in any case, here we are. We've got the Dark Elves versus the High Elves. Let's start with our blue player, Syphos. Going to have two Dark Riders with repeater crossbows up front. He's going to have three, or sorry, four Dread Spears and two Sisters of Slaughter. Some very strong infantry here. Now we're going to be looking at the Cold One Chariots here for support. A very popular pick by a lot of players. And Syphos is no different here. Going to have three Cold One Knights also. So pretty strong anti-large cavalry force. Uh, cheap spearmen and then some good uh, elite Sisters of Slaughter to chew through any lightly armored High Elf infantry. Now to round out this force, up in the air we are going to be looking at Malekith. Now Malekith will be atop his Black Dragon Seraphim. And he's going to be bringing Gaze of Malice, Stand Your Ground as well as Soul Stealer. So, checking out the High Elf Forces here, being brought by Stanton Cree, and hold on one second, guys, guess what I just did? I forgot to update the banners. Oh, forgive me. That would be bad. Everybody would be so confused, like, what's going on here? So there we go, the High Elves of Stanton Cree are Red Player. He's going to have two units of Spearmen, five units of white lines of trace for that center line. Now, he's gonna have the Fireborn ROR Dragon Princes on the right flank with their bonus versus large and fire damage, and then some Illyrian Reavers on the left flank, so some really quick, cheap, efficient light cab to chase off any skirmishers, perhaps. And um, for the rest of his army, we're gonna see a second unit of Illyrian Reavers, which I missed initially. Uh, I think, yeah, those are both Illyrian Reavers. And then the Air Force like we saw last battle. So we got a Star Dragon up in the air, accompanied by Alariel the Radiant. Alariel is going to have the Star of Averlorn, as well as Arcane Conduit, Arcane Unforging, Earth Blood, Shieldstone of Isha, and Life Bloom. So that rounds out our two players' army. And uh, we got a pretty small map here. Interesting, very little range from either player. The High Elves have no range power, and the Dark Elves only in the form of these two repeater crossbows. Um, and I guess the Chariots do have their missiles as well, so should be an interesting fight here. Alrighty, so it looks like the High Elves pushed their formation pretty far back and uh, are going to be going forward with their cavalry. And these Illyrian Reavers, if they're microed well and they catch these Dark Riders, they are going to get a ton of value here. But obviously Syphos is no chump and he's going to be keenly microing them away. Um, and they have about the same speed, if I recall. Yeah, so only slightly faster these Dark Riders repeat across crossbow, so Illyrian Reavers aren't going to be catching them. And uh, they should probably pull back quick, and it looks like they're going to catch the hint as Malekith comes diving in. And they're going to pull out some nice micro there as well, not taking any damage from that charge. 
However, the incentive will be on the high elves to attack because they have no range damage. So I'm going to go ahead and let him get to that 58 minute mark for the two minutes of you know positioning. Um, but then if he isn't moving forward, we'll let him know that he needs to start attacking. Over here, Arcane and Forging coming over here. Strong versus single combat and weak versus multiple units. But look at all the models it's killing, guys. Arcane and Forging going down on top of these cold one nights and just... A ton of models getting killed off. Look at that, down to 26 models. That wasn't even overcast. That was pretty devastating stuff, guys. All right, high elves need to keep pushing forward. All right. They's moving forward and they're taking quite a lot of shots to the face and it's one of those things where if the High Elves don't go forward, I think it's to their disadvantage because right now they are the ones who need to close the gap because the Dark Elves are just getting a lot of good damage done in this early game. That Arcane Forging, don't get me wrong, that was really nicely done, you know, killing off, what, 11 or 12 models um, with one cast, but in the end they're going to come out on the losing end of this trade if they don't get their infantry into combat because that's clearly the strength of this high elf force is these five white lines of trace. One Illyrian River already taking quite a lot of damage is wavering um, but fortunately still pretty healthy on the uh, the model count so Alario can heal him back up. Alright, high elves are pushing forward, their infantry needing to close this gap. A move, best of three is semifinals and final. And yeah, these white lines of trace are just taking so much damage from those armor piercing missiles. Um, very nice, and it looks like they're going to shift their focus maybe to a new unit of white lines of trace now and start dishing out damage there. But as you can see, it just seems like uh, Cyclos really doing a good job with his army, not wasting any resources, not letting any free damage get taken um, off of his units by the Hyle forces here. And he's doing okay for himself. He's now fighting with the Star Dragon up here in the air. Looks like we're going to be seeing hmm, Arcane Unforging going down on top of Malekith now. Going to be doing some nice damage to him and Malekith now uh, needs to be careful. He's going to be seeing a Star of Avalon going down on top of these White Lines of Trace. And the Star Dragon looking like he's going to come down in there too, but going to be shooting down a Breath instead. And that Breath, unfortunately, isn't going to do too much damage, but it's going to uh, be followed up by the Fireborn charging in. And with the Star of Avalorn supporting them, they're going to just be shredding through these Cold One Knights. All right, Sisters of Slaughter getting on top of the rear of these White Lines of Trace. As Cold One Knights hitting them from the front, a lovely sandwich here. These White Lines of Trace are not enjoying life right now not the kind of combat they want to get stuck in. Alright, so Chariot still in combat here. White Lines of Trace getting a Soul Stealer along with the Fireborn on top of them. And uh, Malekith popping Stand Your Ground to keep as healthy as possible. Gaze of Malice coming in here. Oh, doing some lovely work. Absolutely devastating on top of those cheap spearmen. Cold One Knights coming here to counter charge the Illyrian Reavers who are chasing down the repeater crossbows. They're going to make quick work of them with their armor piercing and bonus versus large. And the Illyrian Reavers look like they're going to be pulling out as quickly as they can, sending in spearmen to help out in that combat. Star Dragon diving in here to help out the High Elf infantry against the chariot and these Dread Spears, but more Dread Spears are coming in, and now the repeater crossbows are firing down. White Lines of Trace are chasing them, but White Lines of Trace obviously aren't going to be able to catch them unless uh, there's some serious micro drops here from Cyphos. And with that, there goes Murderous Prowess, everybody. Murderous Prowess is going to make a huge difference here. And now Sisters of Slaughter back here on top of these Spearmen are just going to be shredding through them with their improved stats. And the High Elf uh, front line has all but disappeared at this point. White Lines of Trace have been dealt with in many areas and the ones that are still hanging on are really far out of position and not really in any useful combat. So yeah, it does seem very much to me like uh, we're just seeing the Dark Elves outplaying the High Elves right now. Uh, Malekith obviously needs to be careful because if he gets stuck in a double team situation with Alario and the Star, Star Dragon, he could very well die. 
But as long as Syphos remains alert, keeps his leadership away from the High Elves Air Force, I think he's going to be just fine. And there we go. Last, another unit of White Lines of Trace being dealt with. This unit basically dead to rights. And look at that. The Star Dragon just taking a volley of bolts to the face. Not enjoying life. He is down to 1,300 HP. Yeah, not where I land with the repeater crossbow so nearby. But look at that. A Star of Avalor going to be coming in. Will it be enough to save this Star Dragon? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at his HP. It's going up still. It's going up, but now it's routing and a breath is coming down. And oh my goodness. Malekit and the repeater crossbow is just doing so much damage there and uh, shattering that Star Dragon. And with that, the balance of power is really going to start shifting in favor of the Dark Elves in a serious way. We're going to be seeing the Dragonborn over here duking it out with some Cold One Knights. They should be fine in this combat, but with the addition of the Cold One Chariots and the Dread Spears coming up from behind, along with Sisters of Slaughter, man, yeah, they're going to be in a world of hurt. And it just seems like the Dark Elves are taking control of the battlefield everywhere you can see. Really no combat that the High Elves are coming out on top right now. And Alariel versus Malekith certainly won't be one of them. Dragon Princes are dealt with. White Lines are traced down here. And Stanton's going to concede defeat. And that's going to be a GG to Cyphos.